Hello everybody, this is Chang Basha from Talon Battle. In this video, we will be discussing the previously erased reasonability questions in Deloitte consulting role. As you all know, Deloitte is going to hire 2024 batch students for consulting role. This video will help you to prepare for it. And if you want to prepare completely for Deloitte as well as 25 plus companies along with aptitude, coding, projects, certification and much more, join our complete placement preparation masterclass where the link will be added in the description below. So go and check it out once. So without much further ado, let's start with the very first question of this everyone. Now find the missing letter. Now given here, there is a picture. If you observe here very carefully, everybody, this is actual question which is asked. If you are able to see here, Deloitte, D-E-L-O. So as we said, these are really the previous year asked questions uh, so that we have collected and we are giving you on the same everyone. Now let's start with this question. See, many of you, what you do, again, you start writing the figure as in you will just write uh, to replicate the image. Right. So drawing the lines and then writing C, J, M, D, W, F and all is actually time waste. What you are doing, going to do is the time waste process. Then how? See, whenever there's a question, try not to replicate the same because you are wasting your time. So what you can do and majorly we have told you multiple times whenever there are alphabets never go with alphabets alone try to convert them into the numbers because coding and decoding always is all about the numbers now we have already told you how to remember the alphabets into numbers and all but still i'll also help you for example see let's say we have c c is nothing but a b c everybody can remember just three now j J is E Jyoti, I told you. E Jyoti, J is the second alphabet. So E Jyoti are multiples of 5. So J is the second place of second multiple of 5 is 10. M is the middle number. Now, out of all 26 alphabet, what is the middle everybody? 13, half. Middle is half, so 13. A, B, C, D, D is 4. F, F for fix. So it's like 6. So you can remember it as 6. Now, L, 12. So both are kind of a rhyming. I, when you write cursive I, it resembles a number called 9. Correct, everybody? And P, if you invert P, it looks like a 6. But 6 is actually F. So it should be the second one, which is 16, everybody. Is it clear, everybody? So this is how we need to remember the alphabets in terms of numbers. Don't again write everything like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and so on up to Z. This will again take your time and waste your time. So try to remember for so long time in this manner, everybody. Now the other alphabets, I'll try to tell you. N, November 14, uh, an auspicious day. So N for 14. W, if you reverse it, uh, like uh, if you just rotate it, it'll be like a 3. At the end, it should be so 23. U, see, this U is resembling an alphabet as well as a number called 21. So that's why U is 21. Now, Q has again a 7 inside it, but Q is already G, so we should be 7 did everybody. And XYZ, that is 24. K for Kings 11, Punjab, so 11. R is right towards 18. Is that clear, everybody? So this is what one should be doing. Rather than writing the entire uh, figure and all, you can just write 10, 13, 4, 6, 12, 9, 16. And on top of these numbers, everybody, what you can start writing is, uh, there is one alpha that is this, that is 3. Okay. So there is 24, 17, 14, 23, 21, question mark, and 18, and then now 11. See, if you do this, you are saving a lot of time by, by, by not drawing everything that is required. Now, if you observe very carefully, there are many people who will be trying in many ways, multiple ways, if I'm not wrong, like uh, 13, 4, 6, uh, 12. So 13 to 4 means minus 9, 4 to 6 means plus 2, 6 to 12 means plus 6 and all. But this is not going to give you the answer. Why? Because there is some other logic to it here. What is the logic? Whatever the pair we have here, 13 plus 14 will give me a 27 sum. 4 plus 23 will give me a 27 sum. 6 plus 21 will give me a 27 sum. 17 plus 10 will give me a 27 sum. So similarly, 12 plus what will give me a sum of 27? So 12 plus 15. 15 means it's a multiple of 5. Third multiple of 5. E, J, T. So O is a third place. So that should be O as your answer, everybody, which is option. Isn't that really easy, everybody? How quick we have done it with just going with numbers. So rather than going with alphabets and all, try to go with numbers. This will help you to answer it very faster. Hope you all got it. 
So whenever the next time you're going to solve these kind of puzzles, don't write everything. Just write down the numbers 3, 24, 10, 17, 13, 14, 4, 23. So addition is clear. That is 27. Addition is clear. 27. Similarly, 12 plus what will give me a 27? 15. 15 means what? 15 is the third multiple, which is O. That's it. Simple game over. See how easy enough it is, everybody. So with a little bit of practice of such, you will definitely improvise everyone. Hope you are understanding these points, everybody. So such tricks are very well clearly explained in our master class, actually. Right, everyone? Now let's move on to the next one. Okay, this is uh, from a input output concept or topic which we have detailed video in our master class. Actually, there are many uh, like uh, people who don't even consider this as a topic, but this is a very important topic where many companies nowadays are asking. So this topic, we have a detailed explanation in our master class. But here, I'll try to explain in a crisp and short manner, everybody. So what is input output? See, you'll have be given with the input. The input will undergo some process. Step one, step two, step three, and finally you'll get an output, right? But if never given an output, consider the last step as an output, everybody. If output specially don't mention, consider the last step as an output. So you got to do two steps to get an output. Is that clear, everybody? From input, you have to do two steps sir, to go to the output or to come down out to get an output, right? So such wise, what exactly, whatever the logic that happens here, we have to apply the same logic for the given input. And we have to find out the answer for the given question. So see, how many steps will be required to complete the arrangement? So the same. How many steps are required to complete the arrangement? We have to check everybody. Now, first, in order to say that, first, you need to understand what happened here, everybody. Right? Now, let's see that. So given input is fear, cool, near, cold, just, need see if you take only the alphabets what about this n n what about this cc that's why for this i'm gonna write cool and near cold and need the other alphabets i can keep sap as it is so this is input one now what happened from input one to in, uh, step one i'll tell you there is a sudden change actually the very first word in the input is fear but suddenly in the step one need came into picture now you can think that last word came to the first place okay then what happened with the next? Every word just shifted its place to the next place. Correct, everybody? So food, uh, if, sorry, fear came here, cool came here, near came here, cold here, and just here. Right? Now, in the step two also, what should happen? Last word should come here now. As you thought, last word came to the first place. Here, what is the last word in the previous step one? J. So just should come here, but it just came? No. Need is only here. So the first word is kept on repeating. Now, if you think now just should come, is just here? No. What happened is near, somewhere where, like in between word, it came to the second place. Why? Why? Because again, I told you, it's like coding and decoding. Whenever we have alphabets, talk about the numbers. F is fix a 6. C is 3. N, number 14. So 4. C, cold 3. J, second alphabet 10. N, 14. If you observe out of these six numbers, the highest number we have is 14. But 14 repeat twice in these two, everybody. Why only need has taken? Because after 14, 5, after 14, 5. Both are same. So I cannot consider this. After 5, 1, after 5, 5, N E E D. So out of these two, everybody, 14, 5, 5 is the highest one. So 14 came into picture. Clear, everybody? And once the first one is fixed, the first highest is fixed. Remaining numbers, what is the next highest, everybody? The only highest is 14. That's why 14 came. And what happens with the next is F comes to the next place, cool come to the next place, near here, cold here. Is that clear, everybody? Now, let me explain to the third step also. Now, what comes first place? Need. What comes second place? Near. This is already arranged. Now, in the remaining, what is the next highest, everybody? This is six. This is three. This is four. No, no, no. One minute. Need already came here. No. So what? Did I miss something? Cool came here. Achha, this is cold and just now. My mistake, everyone. So this is cold and just. So this is cold and just. Now tell me everyone. So this is 3, this is 10. So now you tell me out of these remaining, what is the next highest? J is the next highest. So J. Now next, F comes here. Cool comes here. And cold comes here. Now if you observe after J, highest is 6 itself. Now in between these 3, this is 3, 
15 15 this is 3 15 12 that means this is already arranged everybody asked for the ascending sorry descending order descending order arranged is that clear everybody 14 14 10 6 3 3 and these are also arranged in descending order 15 15 15 12 Clear? So that's what happened, the logic. So you have to apply the same logic to the given question and answer the question. But we don't have much space here. So I've just used this other slide. Is that clear, everybody, how good this is actually? So this have already, we have explained this in our uh, input-output topic separately, where we have practiced n number of questions there. So if you have done that, this would have been easy. See, suddenly, if you don't prepare this topic and this comes in the exam, can you answer such questions? Definitely no. So that's why, everybody, we all... Try to give importance for every topic that is there, right? And we all solve it in live sessions. Got it? So let's answer the given input. Now, given input is hint, queen, gold, high, question, height, link, and good and line. Now, you all know uh, we have to first give the alphabets. So 8, 17, 7, 8, 17, 8, 12, 7, and 12. Now, what should be the input one? Out of all the highest, if you observe, there are two highest, queen and question. But if you observe, everybody, Q is 21, 21, I cannot decide. E is 5 and 5, I cannot decide. But next one, E is 5, but here we have a 19. So here, we have the highest as question, everybody. So question being to the first place, everyone. Now, rest all, just move to the next place. That is hint, queen, gold, high, Hide, link, good, and lime. Now, so we all know first one is set. So the, in the step two also, it's going to be the same. Everybody, that's question. Now, after the given, after the first arranged word, what is the next highest one? Of course, queen. So queen comes to the second place. So queen here and rest all just shift its places. Like uh, here gold, here hide, hide. Link, good, and lime. Right, everyone. Now, so the second is also fixed. So the question and queen got fixed. Now, out of all these remaining, everybody, what is the thing size? If you observe eight, seven, eight, eight, 12, seven, eight, 12. So we have 12 and 12 the highest. But I, I cannot decide nine because both are same. Here, n is 14, m is 13. So link should be the highest, everybody. So link coming to the third place. The rest all goes to the next places. So that is hint, gold, hide, 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 good, and uh, lime. Clear? Now, so link is also fixed. So that is queen, question, sorry, question, queen, and link. Now, out of all these, you know what is the next size? That is 12. So highest should come to the next place. That is lime. And then rest all goes to one next place. Hint, good, sorry, gold, high, hide and then good correct so lime is also fixed so that is question queen link lime out of this everybody actually eight is the highest so eight 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 i cannot decide nine 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 i cannot decide but 14 seven and four so what is the next highest everybody hint is the next highest which is already arranged so what you can do is since it's already arranged now you arrange the rest of uh, from the rest everybody understood now so now, definitely in this one, definitely one must be arranged because gold is actually only seven. So in between hide and high, what is the next highest? Eight, nine, seven. So high should come here. Then gold will move to the next place. Then hide and then good. Correct? So now, till here it got arranged. I hope you all understood why I arranged in this line itself because hint is already pre-arranged. Right? So definitely you need to arrange one. So that is why you are arranging out of these four in the next one. So that is question queen link lime hint high the next is definitely eight that is hide that everybody and then gold and then good if you do observe eight of 15 12 8 of 15 15 so definitely 15 should come here that is good and last is gold so this is the arrangement everybody now let's check how many steps we have done so step three step four step five step six step seven so totally seven steps, everybody. But do we have any such answer? No. Eight steps. How many steps we require to get a rearrangement? Seven steps we require. But eight is not, nine is not, ten is not. So first three options are gone. The only answer is option D. Isn't this quite interesting question, everybody? 
I hope you thoroughly liked it. Yes. So if you have liked it, like the video, everybody, and uh, share it to your friends and subscribe to our channel for more such amazing content, everybody. How many pairs of letters are there in the word experienced, which have as many letters between them in the word as an alphabet? Look, I totally understand that half of you or majority of you did not understand the question, right? Because that is such a tricky statement given. How many pair of letters? Pair of letter means, look, E is a letter, X is a letter, P is a letter. A pair consists of two letters. So how many such pair of letters or two letters which have as many letters between them? For the, let, us say, let us say this is a letter, this is a letter. And in between, if two letters are there, in this word, in this word, as in the alphabet, alphabet means what everybody, A, B, C, D, E, F, and so on till Z. For example, let's say B and D. Now here in the alphabet, in between B and D, how many letters are there? One, one letter. Similarly, in the given question also, you should have same number of letters, everybody. Is that clear? So if you observe the question, you'll get more clarity. So let's write the word everybody experienced. Now, I told you, never ever only go with alphabets, go with the numbers because E5, X24, P16, E5, R18, right to vote, I9, cursive 9, and E5, N number 14, C3, E5, D4. Already have told you all this if I'm not. That's why I directly told the numbers. Now, let's start. See, whenever they say number of letters, we have to search in two ways. One forward, one backward. Right, everybody, because backward also is possible. Now, let's check it. 5, how do we need to start? I'll tell you. See, start with 5. Go on in an increment order only. Increment order only, everybody. Increment order. So, go from 5 and check uh, how many letters are there starting with 5 and other letter which has the same letters as in the alphabet. For example, I'm starting with E, okay. But is 5. 5, it should be 6 actually. 7, 8, 9, 10. No. If 9 would have been here, I would have considered why because 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 here means 3 letters are there between E and I that consists the same as number is in the alphabet. Because A, B, C, D, E between E and I, E, F, G, H, I between E and I, how many letters are actually there? 3 letters. But here, how many letters are there? There are 4 letters. 1, 2, 3, 4. Can I consider E, I? No. That's why I'm just dropping it. Now, so if you observe 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So with E, anybody, anything you have? Next 24, let us check. If you observe, there is no incremental number from 24. So no need to check X because 24, 25, 26 is the highest. So with X, nothing. Next, 16. See, 16, 17, 18. Yes, uh, P and R in actual alphabets also, if you observe. In between P and R, only Q will be there. The number of alphabets are only as not a exact alphabet. Number of how many? How many letters? How many? Yes or no? That means only we need number. So here also we have only one. So I can say while going forward, we have PR is the very first pair. Okay. So 16, 17, 18, 19, there is no other increment. 20, 21, 22, 23. So with 16, only 18 is possible. Now next, with 5. 5. 6, 7, 8, 9, no, no order increment. So, no with E also. So, with P we have got one, with E we have got none. Next with R. 18, no other increment order. So, with R also we have got none. Now, 9, no, 9 only 14, but with, between 9 and 14, there should be how many everybody? There should be many. Can there be only one? No. So, with 9 also I did not get any. Now, next with 5, let us check. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, no with E, no. Next with 14, definitely no, because 14 after no increment order. 3, I let me check. 3, 4, 5. Actually, there should be one letter in between 3 and 5. But is there any here? No. So C also, I don't have any. And E, no, it is in the decrement. So D, there is no alphabet after this, so I'm not counting. Is that clear, everybody? So while going forward, we have only one such pair where PR is the only pair. 16 and 18 are the only pair of letters which has one letter in between in the word as like the alphabet. Now, clear everybody? I hope you understood the statement now. How tricky the statement and how well it is explained. And if you are liking the video everybody, please like the video and share it to your friends. That will definitely support us and also that gives good knowledge to the others. Right? Who are actually preparing for it.
now let's go with the next one so while going i have got only one but while coming backward also we have to check now check everybody four five yes sir four five has no letters in between in this word again four five are the letters which has no letters in between so while coming backward i can consider de as a first pair so four five four five six seven eight and nine yes sir now so four and nine while coming backward i have same number of alphabets between because four five six seven eight nine there are four letters in between d and i where same that are the number of alphabets as in the alphabet one two three four one two three four you don't care about what alphabets they are you just need to consider the number of alphabets so d i is one more pair now so four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen so no with d done with 5 e 5 6 7 8 9 yes 5 and 9 again we have one more pair because in between e and i there are three letters now so here also there are three letters everybody so that says e and i also one more pair now so 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 no that's all so with 5 no now 3 4 5 yes again one more i got so see how many we are getting in the reverse order so with 3 i'm get i've got one more so with between c and d here we have one and in the alphabet also between c and d we have one everybody so that is c and e right now next so 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 no so with c gone 14 15 16 17 18 is here i would have considered but 18 not required because here i got only 17 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 20 so no with 5 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 no with 9 10 11 12 13 13 no with 18 19 20 20 21 20, no with 5 6 7 16 no 16 no increment order 24 no increment order that says how many backward everybody four backward and how many forward one so totally how many such letters are there everybody how many such pair of letters are there there are five such pair of letters which has the number of letters in between in the word as the alphabet contain so the answer is none of it see how good this actual question is everybody i hope you have thoroughly thoroughly uh, loved this uh, question everybody right so if you are really liking the content do like the video and share it to your friends now moving on to the next one everyone if today is monday after 61 days it will be what excellent question from calendars right for example let us talk about one small example if today is wednesday after two days what will be after two days it will be what now many people will say sir very simple if today is wednesday wednesday one day thursday thursday to one more day friday it will be very simple sir okay that is fine since today is wednesday just after two days you can answer what is the answer but here is it 61 days can it go in the same way like monday to tuesday one day tuesday to wednesday one more day wednesday to thursday one more day can i go in this way definitely not 61 days is not easy so here we use the concept of odd days i hope you all know what are odd days everybody odd days means not 1 3 5 that are dates okay so odd days are the days which are left out uh, in the days which can't form a week for example if i say 8 days Eight days can form how many week? Everybody one week plus one day is left out. This one day is called as odd day. Right, everybody? Yeah. So and uh, you have to know one more point. Now generally odd days, if you remember, if you get a reminder called one, that means it's considered as a Monday. If you get reminder as two, that means it's a Tuesday. Three Wednesday, four Thursday, five Friday, six Saturday, and seven or zero means Sunday. is that clear everybody i'll tell you why i have told you this because this has some usage so here if today is monday now i can clearly say from every monday to monday we'll have seven days if i'm not wrong that means a day to be repeated i need seven days for sure right a day will only repeat after seven days that means some days will be repeated some weeks will be repeated how can you find out that everybody so you can take the remainder of the number of days divided by 7 that gives you how many days are left out uh, which are nothing but the odd days see 7 8s are 56 what are 8 8 weeks 8 uh, weeks are there 
after eight weeks there are how many days that are left out seven eights are 56 uh, five is left out everybody five odd days are there is that clear my days everybody five odd days are there clear now so how to do it from monday you have to go till five days one is tuesday second day is wednesday third day is thursday fourth day is friday and after five days what day is it everybody the answer is saturday but if you won't want to do this i'll tell you one simple today is monday monday is what as per the odd days everybody it is one now we got what is the answer reminder five one plus five will give me six six means saturday that's all game over a shortcut if you don't want to do like from monday if you don't want to go five days because again that takes time monday to tuesday one tuesday to wednesday second wednesday thursday three so this will take, take some time that is we can quickly say monday is actually one as per the odd days whatever the reminder you got added to the one one plus five will give me six six means saturday that's all easy peasy understood how effective this is everybody see again i'll tell you just generally what to do first find out the remainder of 61 divided by 7 7 8s are 56 the remainder is 5 the remainder is 4 means what day is given monday monday means what one so remainder is 5 1 plus 5 is 6 as per the odd days 6 means it's a saturday so the answer is saturday option just two step answer it is right so if you practice really well you can also do the same everybody right but one needs practice definitely and all these we have detailedly discussed in our topics which are explained in our live master class sessions that everybody and if you don't have much time and all you can uh quickly restart to our deloitte course where we'll detail explain you every question detail like uh, uh like uh, with the conceptual part for example here in this previous question i've explained the conceptual part input output also i've explained the conceptual part so at least this could be done if you don't have much time and all all right everybody yeah let's go for the next one now, given which of the following will come in a place of question mark in the following sequence. Okay, I've told you, wherever there are alphabets, don't write the same again, it will waste your time. So write out the numbers. Z is 26, 10, A is 1, X is 24, 15, G is 7, V is 22, V looks like 2, 1, 2. So that is 22 at the last. 20 and M middle, middle number is 13 out of 26, half, middle is half. So out of 26, half number is 13. So that's why T for 2020 cricket, 25. Yes, yes. When you close the side boundary, it looks like nine. So nine is already I. So this should be the second nine. That is 19, right? And the question mark. Now just check everybody. One to seven plus six. Seven to 13 plus six. 13 to 19 plus six. So 19 plus six will give me how much everybody? 25. And what is 25? 25 means Y. And why I have only have two options. Option A, option B are got. See how easy this is. Now next, 10 plus 5, 15 plus 5, 20, 20 plus 5, 25, 25 plus 5, 32. But do we have 32? No. Then how come we can answer everybody? So everybody remember this. Whenever a number goes beyond 26, uh, just subtract the 26. Uh. So 32 minus 26 will give me how much have you put one minute? All right, I'm sorry, addition mistake. Yeah, 25 plus 5 only. No, so 25 plus 5 is 30. So, yeah, um, by the way, you have learned one good technique whenever an alphabet goes beyond 32, just subtract 26. Uh, sorry, whenever a uh, number goes beyond 26, just subtract 26. For example, somewhere you will get 32. What means 32? 32 minus 26 is 6, sir. 6 means F. Sir. Clear everybody. One good point you have learned, right. So here it should be 30 and in between these two, the only 30 is option C. If you want to check with the first one also, you can check minus 2, minus 2, minus 2. So 20 minus 2 is 18. 18 means right to vote, which is R. Understood everybody? So hope you have understood the, whatever the questions that we have seen today, everyone. And for more such off-campus and placement updates, you can join us through social media platforms like Telegram, Instagram and on WhatsApp groups. Now, link for all these will be added in this description below. Thank you all for watching this video. And if you have really liked the content, do like it, comment and uh, subscribe to our channel, everybody.